While there have been many moments that have completely shifted the overall paradigm of music, few have been as important or unique as when in June of 1972, a man named Ziggy Stardust appeared. As the alter ego of David Bowie and the namesake of the album he released that year, the record in question is loosely based around that man. Well, alien. Fronting the fictitious rock band The Spiders from Mars, we hear about Ziggy Stardust and we learn his story of his rise to fame, his excess of sex, drugs, and rock and roll, and the eventual collapse under the ills of fame. And while the music is absolutely phenomenal, it's the stories around the character of Ziggy Stardust, how it affected culture, and how it affected David Bowie himself that are perhaps the most intriguing. In reality, the character of Ziggy Stardust was loosely based around singers Vince Taylor and legendary Stardust Cowboy. And the persona that David Bowie Bowie built around this person, Ziggy Stardust, would quickly become not only his onstage persona, but the person he became in interviews as well. You can easily argue that the rabid following that the character of Ziggy Stardust gained was nothing short of cult-like. And from the fact that Bowie refused to drop the character during interviews to his purposely overly ambiguous sexuality, Bowie seemed hell-bent on challenging not only everything in music, but culture as a whole. As Ziggy, Bowie would often strip down to nothing but a loincloth on stage, as well as simulate rather risque acts on the guitar of Mick Ronson and this led to countless rumors about David Bowie's offstage life, as well as many conservative groups warning about the ills of this album and concert. Furthermore, from the iconic outfits of Ziggy Stardust to the wild, dyed hair he presented, Bowie completely rewrote the books on what a rock star was allowed to look like, inadvertently giving an entirely new image and style to the glam rock movement. From the New York Dolls to Lou Reed's Transformer record to countless other bands and albums, they all lead back to Ziggy Stardust. Truth be told, in interviews well after the fact, Bowie admitted that due to just how much he threw himself into the character of Ziggy Stardust, he had a great deal of difficulty actually separating himself from that character when he wasn't on stage. And in the years following the tour, he said that he was almost haunted by the character of Ziggy for a very long time. Furthermore, life truly began to imitate art in the world of the Ziggy Stardust tour, with the legendary final performance being captured for a documentary that bears the same name as the album. As the story goes, only one member of Bowie's band and a handful of his entourage knew that this would be the end of Ziggy Stardust and the end of the tour. In a true display of showmanship, right before launching into the evening's final song, appropriately rock and roll suicide, Bowie told the crowd that not only is this the last show of the tour, but the last show we'll ever do. Many newspapers and fans interpreted this as Bowie retiring from music when the truth of the matter was, he was simply retiring the character of Ziggy Stardust. However, in only the short 13 months that Ziggy Stardust appeared live on stage, he forever altered the entire world of culture. As his blatant sexuality, his over-the-top image and persona would open the door for countless new bands, sounds, social movements, and other aspects of popular culture. Along with this, the fact that it took such a long-term and rather unexpected psychological toll on Bowie only furthered the legend of Ziggy Stardust and David Bowie. And even more than 40 years after its initial release, no album has even come close to the power of the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars or the iconic stage persona that was Ziggy Stardust. Hey!